Hey friends, and welcome in to A Walk Through the Word, Daily Bread with Crystal Fry. I am your host, Crystal Fry, and I want to welcome you to Advent. As we begin this season of remembrance and anticipation, we'll be looking at Matthew chapter 24, verses 36 through 44, and the words of Jesus reminding us to keep watch, for his return is certain and we must be ready. Thank you for being here with me today, and I pray that you will listen with an open heart to hear the Word of God speaking to you. All right, friends, let's dive in. God's Word is powerful. The missing link is our identity in Christ. When we know who we are and who He created us to be, that is when we can truly walk in freedom. You are never alone. There is hope, and that hope is Jesus Christ. Today we're looking at Matthew chapter 24, verses 36 through 44, which read, No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Verse 40. Two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a handmill. One will be taken and the other left. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this. If the owner of the house had known at what time of the night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Welcome, my friends, to the season of Advent. Before we get into today's text, for anyone who is not familiar with Advent or what this season is all about leading up to Christmas, it's a time of remembering and celebrating the first coming of Christ, his birth in Bethlehem, the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. It is also a time of anticipation and looking forward to the second coming of Christ, his return that is certain. So as we go through these next four weeks leading up to Christmas, we're going to be talking about these two things, celebrating the birth of Christ and looking forward to his second coming. Now, today's scripture Matthew chapter 24, verses 36 through 44. This was our gospel reading in church yesterday. And as I read through it, one, I knew this would be a, a perfect way to, to start Advent here on the podcast. But as I listened to the message that was given regarding this gospel reading, It really made me think about a few things. Now, some of them I will explore later, but this thought about keeping awake, staying alert, keeping watch, not falling asleep while we wait. And that, of course, makes me think about Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane and, you know, as the disciples... (laughs) fell asleep while he was praying and they did that multiple times and Jesus asking can you not keep watch for just an hour but friends it begs the question are we 
keeping watch? Are we keeping watch? Because indeed, we do not know when. We know that Jesus is going to return. But we don't know when that is going to be. And in this scripture, this passage, these are all the words of Jesus. He even says, No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. And as he describes the time leading up to that day, he tells us it'll be just like it was in the days of Noah. Before the flood, people eating, drinking, carrying on with their lives, right? Marrying and giving in marriage, right? No idea about the upcoming flood that would essentially wipe them out. Now, God made a covenant with Noah, sealed it with a rainbow, right? The rainbow is the sign of that covenant that he will never again use water to flood the earth and destroy all people. So it's not going to be a flood. (laughs) But friends, when Christ returns, that's not the time to decide to get ready. When the rain started to fall, that wasn't the time to decide, oh, I want to be on the boat. I think that's one of the major points here, is that because we do not know the day or the hour, it's important for us to keep watch. And that means to be mindful of our lives. What are we doing with our lives? What's our relationship with Christ? What's our relationship with God look like? If for some reason you're waiting to take that step, I invite you to ask yourself why. Why are you waiting to take that step? Be curious about what may be holding you back from taking that step of faith and accepting Christ. Because again, the hour of his return is not the time to decide. By then it will be too late. So today's passage, we are looking forward to the return of Christ and understanding that the world will continue to turn just as it is right up until that day. People will go on about their business, eating and drinking, living their lives, and it will happen in a moment. And when that moment comes, it will be too late to make decisions. Therefore, keep watch. As Jesus says, if the owner of the house had known at what time in the night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Just think about that for a minute. Like if you knew, if you had the, <laughs> if you had the schedule of the person who was going to break into your house, right? Um, wouldn't you be prepared, waiting for them, have the police on standby? Hey, guys, the thief is going to be here at 947. You guys all show up at 940 and hide in the bushes so that when he gets here, we can jump out and arrest him. Friends, we don't get the luxury of knowing when. We do, however, have the certainty of knowing it is coming. It will happen. This is one of the promises to us. And as we've talked about before, God does not lie. He cannot lie. And so we know that this is a truth that we can, we can bank on. So as we are beginning this season of Advent, friends, I invite you, if you have not yet made the decision to give your life to Christ, I invite you to make that decision. I invite you to welcome him in, to allow him to heal your hurt, to allow him to change you from the inside out, to allow him to dig out all of the old, all of the, all of the stuff that doesn't serve you, all of the old baggage that you've been carrying around because you don't know how to get rid of it. I invite you to let go of that, and I invite you to welcome him in and allow him to work in you. 
And friends, if that's already a decision that you've made, then I invite you to pay attention. I invite you to ask yourself, am I keeping watch? Am I ready? And if the answer is maybe, or I'm not sure, or no, (laughs) then today is a wonderful opportunity for you to have that conversation with God and ask him what else you need to do to be ready. And what ways can you be better prepared and then take action on the things that he gives you to do? It's so very easy to be distracted in this life, friends. So very easy. And the enemy is working hard. He's working hard to distract us. He's working hard to keep us from doing the things that God wants us to do. He's not sleeping. He's not on autopilot. He's not falling down on the job. We need to remain just as vigilant because indeed the Son of Man will come at an hour when we do not expect him. Thank you, friend, for being here with me today. Thank you for being part of this journey. Thank you for being such a blessing in my life. I want to know what's on your heart and what's on your mind today, so leave me a comment or send me a message and let me know. I invite you to come back and join me for our next episode to hear a little bit more of what Jesus has to say about his return in Matthew chapter 24, verses 23 through 31. Until then. Hey friend, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's my pleasure as always to be here with you. If what you listened to today resonated with you, if you enjoyed listening to the show, do me a favor, go ahead and like and subscribe to this podcast and leave a review. Those reviews are so helpful. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate each and every single one of them. And go ahead and share this episode out with a friend. Invite them along for a walk through the word and let's enjoy that daily bread together. See you tomorrow.